So hi, hello and welcome, my crop hunter here and well today I'm going to do a review video of this of this DSLR camera adapter and I tell you I almost feel like crying a little bit um, because I'm not being a sarcastic now I think it's one of the worst uh, uh, adapters that I've ever seen even though on the outside it looks pretty nice uh, but I need to um, explain, uh, explain it to you and if you're uh, new to microscopy and also new to this channel maybe then um, yeah I'll try to um, explain it in such a way that even people who are not so familiar with uh, uh, microscopes and adapters are able to follow here. Um, and I'm going to start at the very um, the beginning. First of all, this uh, adapter here I did not buy over uh, Amazon and it was also not sent to me from a company, but rather I bought it directly from China over AliExpress. And I've not seen this adapter uh, sold uh, anywhere else. Uh, and uh, it only took around 10 days to arrive. Um, it was around 70 euros. Um, and uh, honestly, when I unpacked it, I was really happy by the build quality. At least uh, on the outside, it looked really nice. But honestly, it doesn't work. I really have to be honest like that. Or maybe I'm getting something wrong here. Uh, maybe maybe I am completely misunderstand the function of this and I'm totally, I don't know, um, yeah, incompetent. That, uh, but uh, honestly, um, there is an issue. So I'm going to explain it uh, first. Um, um, the idea is the following that um, I would like to connect uh, a DSLR camera or these days uh, even mirrorless cameras. Um, how do you connect them uh, to a microscope? Okay. Um, I just want to use this one over here, this microscope over here um, um, as an example. It's a pretty nice and decent microscope and uh, it has a photo tube up here um, so I can connect uh, over here uh, cameras. And uh, how do you now connect a camera like this uh, over here uh, to the top of the microscope and you need an adapter, a so-called a DSLR camera adapter, which uh, basically I got here. And uh, it works like this that uh, there is an, a, an adapter ring which is camera specific and so for for Nikon and for, for Canon there are plenty of those available. If you have a mirrorless camera you also have to get of course one for a mirrorless camera and then what you do is, is the following you simply um, um, yeah remove the, the lens yeah and then you connect uh, the, the adapter like like this okay and uh, yeah um, and uh, there's an optics in here, optics in here, and then it goes all the way to the top um, of the uh, yeah microscope, um, and uh, you can start taking pictures uh, and and videos and so on. And if you do not have a, a photo tube like this, then um, indeed you can also, if you want to, uh, put it in instead of one of those eyepieces. Okay, so that's oh, yeah, that's also it's also possible. Yeah, and uh, not always very stable, especially if you've got a smaller microscope. Okay, um, uh, for, from the balance uh, perspective, but you know, you, you get the idea. The microscope is now also a little bit wobbly because it's standing on the cable. Okay, yeah. Um, so that's kind of uh, the idea. And the purpose um, of a, a camera adapter like this is, is uh, to pick up the image um, of the objective, which is uh, created approximately one centimeter um, down into the photo tube. And this is where the, the, the objective projects an image, it picks it up there and then adjusts the size of the image so that it fills uh, the complete sensor. Okay, so that's kind of the idea. And the second important uh, function in, is, is that um, essentially it should be power focal. And this basically means that when I see the image in focus uh, through the eyepieces, it should also be in focus um, yeah, in the camera at the same time. It's really important. And of course, uh, any decent adapter should also have a system to um, minimize internal reflections. Otherwise, there are those uh, kind of, uh, it's, it's hazy and, and there, um, the light is bouncing around and you do not really get the contrast. And um, yeah, that's kind of the, the idea of an adapter and uh, that's uh, why I bought it, uh, also to make a review for you. And I was kind of hoping finally a new product that I can share with you a little bit. And then um, yeah, you can also connect your DSLR cameras because I do get a, quite a bit of emails, a few emails uh, where people want to have you know, a, a suggestion of which adapter to buy. So that's kind of um, the idea. Um, however, uh, there are a couple of issues with adapter. But first, uh, first uh, the thing that caused me to buy this adapter, and because it has some interesting, interesting features that I've not seen in other adapters. I don't know if you're able to see this, um, but if you turn this here, there is a, a, a yeah, um, yeah, a little a diaphragm in there. By turning this here, you're able to open and close it. And then why, when I saw this, okay, um, yeah, in yeah on the on the product page, I said, "Wow, finally they got it." Okay, because this diaphragm here should be kind of you should be able to to close it so that 
only the um, the basically light which reflects on the side is blocked off, and then you increase the contrast. So this kind of was the idea, I thought. You know, otherwise, um, there is going to be too much internal reflection and you will lack in contrast. But now we have a, a solution here um, that essentially by turning this, you're able to step it down. You're able to limit the light only to the area that you actually see. And then you have a better contrast. Doesn't work. <laughs> okay. It's just going to make the field of view smaller, but it doesn't do anything else. Um, yeah, I'm kind of going getting ahead of myself. So this is a, yeah, basically um, a problem. And the second problem is um, not only, so it doesn't, this has no function, in other words. And the second problem is, and that's even worse, it's not par focal. So this basically means that uh, when I connect the camera, it's so out of focus that it's not even usable. You have to refocus so much that it, 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 it forget it. Yeah. Um, so essentially, I I have n n no use for this adapter. Um, I have already made a few months ago a review of another adapter which does not uh, contain this diaphragm. And uh, this actually does work. Um, now, I'm not super happy with the quality, especially when you connect it to a stereo microscope. Um, so there are a little bit of, it's a little bit fuzzy and blurry um, on the edges, um, but it works at least and it is par focal. Yeah? So um, this uh, is, is okay. Yeah, I can say that uh, com considering that the price is not also not too high, it at least works, right? Um, but this one over here, um, I'm, I'm really frustrated. You might even wonder essentially, okay, if there are no decent or not so many decent DSLR adapters out there, why do they even make microscopes with a photo tube? Well, I want to show you here this is because um, there are, of course, many of these uh, so-called eyepiece uh, cameras um, out there that can be directly plugged in. Yeah, And then over USB, you can connect them to a computer and then you can, of course, uh, yeah, do video um, and pick take pictures directly over the computer. But these uh, um, USB cameras have one essential or one f fundamental disadvantage, and that is video. Um, the USB 2 uh, connection is generally too slow um, to um, essentially uh, make a high quality video. Yeah? So that's a little bit uh, the problem. So the frame rate is, is quite low. So, but what I'm going to do um, now is, is I'm, I'm going to, uh, otherwise I deviate too much, I'm going to now start on packing uh, this adapter here and I'm going to show you now um, the fundamental problems uh, that I found with this adapter. Well, so this is uh, how it arrived. Uh, yeah, it only took uh, approximately 10 days uh, to be mailed uh, from China to Europe and uh, it's evident from the very beginning that uh, it came directly out of the factory. There was a lot, whole bunch of styrofoam cardboard, but uh, generally I would say that uh, all of the different parts were packaged uh, quite well. Here, this here is the T2 adapter ring. This is a camera specific adapter. Um, there are also adapter rings for mirrorless cameras and, and also for Nikon cameras, of course. Um, I've got the Canon one. And uh, these two adapter uh, pieces here are for stereo microscopes because stereo microscopes, they have a slightly larger eyepiece diameter. And in order to fit the DSLR adapter into stereo microscopes, you need to have uh, those specific uh, adapters as well. This tube here, um, I don't know what it does. I'm gonna look at it uh, later a little bit uh, in more detail. And this here is now the actual adapter. Yeah, um, basically um, it is uh, pretty well made, I would say, uh, pretty solid, uh, aluminum, metal, no plastic parts. Um, the T2 adapter ring goes on it. Okay, um, and actually we're ready to go here. If you look through it, that's the diaphragm that I was talking about. This is actually the reason why I bought this one because I was kind of hoping that this diaphragm actually reduces the glare um, and increases the contrast. And this tube here, oh well, yeah, a little bit of a mystery tube. Um, it is, as a matter of fact, a C-mounted, um, yeah, it has a C-mount threading. So these are all of the parts uh, that uh, came in the package uh, for around, I think, uh, 73 euros or something like that. So 70, 73 dollars um, I paid. Yeah, there's a red dot here um, on the... Yeah, mount um, as well so that you know how to connect it so just like a camera lens like a camera objective it goes on and it snaps on and, and we're ready to go and uh, the first uh, thing that I tried out is, is I tried to open and close the diaphragm and I could already see that this really does not reduce the glare very much it just reduces the field of view so that means you see just a, a white circle in the center 
but that's not the whole point. Now, when I put it into the microscope, into one of my microscopes, I could see that um, it didn't go all the way in because, yeah, the diameter uh, was um, you know, not uh, quite uh, correct um, because at the top part, uh, um, yeah, didn't went in, but then it didn't. And in my second microscope, I had no problems. So this is now how it looks like. And you see that there is this white spot in the center and that's the glare that I was I'm kind of hoping to reduce um, by closing the diaphragm, okay? Um, especially when the specimen is of high contrast like uh, this uh, the flea over here, it's a flea. Then you can see that there is uh, quite a bit of a, of a glare in the center. Now, when I step it down, look what happens. The field of view goes down, okay? But actually not a lot happens with the glare. That's not the way that it's supposed to be. So what's the whole point of this diaphragm then? To reduce the field of view? Why would it do that? Yeah. And um, in this setting, when I open it all the way, then it was just able to capture the full field of view. So I couldn't even open it more. So this is a really strange thing. Here um, at a slightly lower magnification as well, look that there's this white part in the center. Now, I know that uh, maybe this is not such a huge uh, deal because when you do post-processing um, in a uh, video editor, you might be able to remove that. But uh, look at this here. What am I doing here? Look here on the, on the left side, the glare disappears. Now, what's going on here? But I was not turning the diaphragm of the adapter. Um, I was actually turning the diaphragm of the Köhler illumination of a microscope. Okay, so the Köhler illumination, and that's actually the point of Köhler as well, or one of the points, is to reduce those glares. Yeah, and here uh, with the Köhler, of course, it works. That's the way it's supposed to be. But it's very clear that the adapter itself is not able to fulfill that function. Yeah? So a little bit um, of a disappointment. So let's again look at the adapter diaphragm. That's what the adapter does. Okay, so I don't know. Um, there's absolutely no point. Well, now let's have a slightly closer look at uh, this um, adapter over here. <laughs> you can look through it. So it's a regular aluminum tube, uh, but there is a threading over here. So I wondered where could it be connected to and I found a place. And um, indeed I did find a place. Uh, this here is a so-called AC mount uh, thread. So this means I can actually connect it uh, to the top part of uh, the photo tube. So I have to remove uh, this uh, top part here. And uh, a C-mount allows you to directly connect uh, a microscope camera in, in, without optics. So uh, if you put a microscope camera here, then the image is going to be directly projected on the sensor. And indeed, um, I was a little bit surprised. Uh, it does fit. Look at this. Okay. Um, but the question is now what? <laughs> now what? Um, and I did uh, figure out that uh, indeed uh, it is possible to take one of those uh, eyepiece adapters uh, for the stereo for a stereo microscope and, and put it in here at the top. Okay, um, and uh, then you are able to indeed insert the camera um, in here. Okay, um, it goes um, halfway in, so you're still able to uh, yeah access uh, the little. Uh, thing here for yeah closing the diaphragm um, and um, it is possible to take uh, pictures this way but there's only a small drawback <laughs> that it's still not par focal okay uh, so this means actually uh, you, ha you have to lift it out several centimeters um, for the image to be both in focus so it's very uh, impractical and also it's not very stable Okay, you can see it's still wobbly, yeah. And without this um, eyepiece adapter in here, um, it, yeah, it, it's even more wobbly, yeah. So um, honestly, um, I don't really um, see a, um, a a function here uh, for for this tube here um, at the top, yeah. Yeah, which is I think uh, a pity uh, because. Uh, yeah, um, as I mentioned already before, I think uh, the, the the machining and, and and so on it looks very nice, really. Uh, but I think it's it's uh, it's kind of misdesigned a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So um, and I also do not understand really the function of um, of the diaphragm um, in the, in the adapter because uh, even when you close it, um, then um, yeah, it does not really reduce um, much of the reflections. Yeah. Um, and the thing that I do not fully understand is is um, why microscope manufacturers um, why um, they don't they simply make something that I've made which is simply an empty tube okay this is a tube no optics and you can also connect the camera here okay um, and then it can also go up here so you remove the complete photo tube and you can put it in here and then you also get um, 
a picture uh, and as a matter of fact of, uh, as a matter of fact of a pretty decent quality they don't seem to do that and i don't know why yeah um but there i just wanted to make it clear there are easy solutions around uh, which for whatever reason um, are not uh, really uh, very common yeah i think i'm just going to leave it at that um if you want to know how this um how i've actually made this um there is a separate video um that i would like uh, to invite you to watch but uh for today I wish you all the best, uh, happy microbe hunting as always, and uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye.